so the, the rights have been restored um, and this is why we need to start at this point and work backwards with people so they can see how it's uh, affected their lifestyle if they choose to <clears throat> adopt it and stand on these exemplifications that we've set for people to follow suit as it were or do it for themselves rather so um things like uh, this conversation that we were just having before we started to record with the offer of uh, a breathing space before the that uh, recovery cycle begins again um, so you were just saying that there's uh, with you can apply for some kind of breathing space where you call the dogs off for a period of time, but the bottom line it's is for two that, months and that's it, and then you can't do it again for another well, I don't know how long, but at least you know a year or two or something. I think I remember reading. So it's right. it's, it's, it's it's but yeah, like you say, it's just postponing the. Um, it, it's giving the illusion of you know some sort of benevolent. <laughs> um, it's spoiling the frog, to, isn't it? To... It's, it's spoiling the frog, yeah. you know, yeah. and, and prolonging the agony of, of that, uh, laundering that liability of it always looming up in the background. So for the breathing space of what, it's never going to leave your mind, is it, that you've still got this, mm. uh, you know, whether it's two months or two years, this, this uh, implied burden is carried for that period of time. And, and it's that that really is costing us our energy. And it's that's the price that we pay if we don't discharge that illusion of the mind that believes that mm. it, whether after two months or two years, that there is an unsubstantiated claim such as debt that I need to preoccupy myself with and, and you know burden myself with instead of coming to the realization that actually it was me all along deluding myself of this illusion so mm. that's hopefully you know what we've now getting receipts for dissolving this so the people that have done these steps and given us their situation for us to be able to use as an exemplification in all of these different places now all over the world we uh, have got or all kinds of different circumstances now to be able to say well if that, those you know people relate to their own circumstances and we can say well if you're in if you've got a mortgage for example um we the people who've done these steps and the process all the way through had had a claim they so they thought um, laid by skipton building society in the form of a mortgage and when these process of assigning your right to shelter back to yourself and using that value that they have put on it through a redemption figure a remarkable value that you can then use that right of use that they valued at a certain amount to discharge these charges that are outstanding that you would have created and that you have been created all your life up until now supporting and crediting as an unsecured creditor of a corporation belonging to the Vatican by using that which you just said earlier you didn't have to give any details you just had to give your name mm. so yeah. it was as simple as that it's it that's where the key lies to all of this administration so the people who haven't who've come to that comprehension and have stopped using that title followed these the process in this circumstance with Skipton Building Society. Skipton Building Society were obviously asking the court for a repossession. And the court ordered their court, nothing to do with us, their court made the order that if the creditor doesn't give us what it is that we need in order for us to be able to act upon to repossess this property through what is that the equity but then we can't there's nothing for us to do here we can't act now because we're the creditor and we are the the secured by the creditor of majesty's government and all right on paper this is what it all looks like yes okay ucc we've done it all before it's pieces of paper it's administration it's what you actually do with it that counts so these people actually did these steps and this is why we've got what we've got because they were uh, crazy enough let's say or determined enough 
to see yeah, this. Determine through. is definitely a better word. <laughs> it is, yeah. It, it, you know, to to determine that for themselves that actually I'm going to see this through, and and see if it's uh, uh, if it's obviously what it is that we've said that it is and projected uh, it to be, uh, which is the restoration of your rights. So the right to shelter. The right to we're just getting some feedback in here. So the rights to shelter, um, which were being <clears throat> exercised through that legal title, um, have been assigned elsewhere. That's what you're doing, and because it's been done in the way that they would have would have done it to you to take the shelter, the right to shelter from you by claiming there was a debt this mortgage, the court and this order actually states that because we haven't got the thing that we need, which is the equity, and if we don't get the thing that we need within 28 days, then it's pointless, in other words, having the encumberment, the mortgage connected to the title land registry, and it will be removed. Now, I don't know, well, I want a bit of feedback now, Wolf. what does that mean, what I just said to you, anybody? Except that in 67, it means woohoo, yeah. <laughs> 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 it means jump around, <laughs> because it's a receipt to say the thing that we said that this would do, they're actually saying it. They're actually saying that it's peaceful surrender of the collateral. And because it's been peacefully surrendered, there's that shit that we can do. And so in order to try to entice this one's creditor of this legal fiction back into commerce, what have they done there is they've offered to clear and clean the credit file in the hope that they will use it again. And at the point that somebody goes in there, they use it again, wham, all of it will pile up on top of them. And so it, it's what we're actually doing, uh, as I was reading it, it's like the universe is building uh, surety against us committing commerce any longer with our rights, because it's all very well turning around. And don't get me wrong, some people, as we know, they have gone and done this. Um, once they've discharged all of their debts, they go on and carry on making commercial ground funding their own capitalistic see you next Tuesday activities, which is what they're supposed to be discharging. And it comes back and it gets them thrice fold, you know. Um, so with that lingering sentence at the bottom of this order, uh, you know, it speaks volumes and the fact that, you know, is there you go, here's the apple again, guys, come and bite it. Your credit files mm. clean now and a common credit our system. In between the lines and looking at it from the perspective, it, it, it is there for everybody to see uh, that a creditor cannot be claimed against by a debtor. And the equity separated from the title means that the, any administrative system that requires and relies on that equity to be there for them to exist and to act upon, once that's gone and it's reserved elsewhere, they simply have not got any point of initiation. <clears throat> and, and even saying, and unless we get it, in other words, skip some building society, bring me something that disproves this quiet title or substantiates your claim and they they haven't they know that that doesn't exist so it will always be you can you know ping it about between the jurisdictions now because all of it's fake it, it's really exposed the paper as it really is it is just simply a piece of paper and, and the belief that we put behind it and whether so if we get that then if we don't put our belief behind any paper and we put our belief and invest it back in what gives us the paper, which is this rock, and take our minds to that point, 
once you've got your, and that's the restoration of the rights to you access your source energy without any usurping third party interloper, without any false claim to it, because that is actually us usurping ourselves from it. When we make that claim and we say, this is mine or that's mine or uh, you know, anything that we can't substantiate any longer, uh, you know, it's, it's uh, where we step then into incriminating, our, incriminating ourselves against our own souls because it's not. We really know it's not. And we really know we can't prove that it is. So all, all we've really got uh, to say as far as truth goes is that this illusion uh, has been created by our own mindset. And if that is the case, um, then by taking that belief and, and ministering it elsewhere, such as, you know, back to source, where do I get my food from? You know, where's my water coming from? Who am I allowing and assigning my consent to, to supply me with this toxic resourced? Uh, who am I relying on representing me in any of these roles that I've found that I've been divided into, such as executor, executive, transfer, transferee, every teeth in, what's left of them, transferee, transferor, grantor, grantee. You were the claimant, you were the defendant, you, you know, you were all of these things. Um, I, uh, by putting your, all of these parts of yourself back together. Um, yeah, so can I can I interject there for a moment? Yeah. Yeah, just I'd love to. So in your last email, you were giving me some amazing idea. You know, like there's no, nothing stopping me documenting all of these steps. Mm. In and and that's what I really want to do is I want to bring it back to layman's terms for for everyone who who who, you know, this this stuff just washes right over their heads. They have no idea, um, and that's been a big issue trying to describe it to people and. Um, yeah, if I go through it and I do that, you know, every step of the way, if I have to speak to anyone uh, or whatever directions I've, I've got to take, that I, I document it on camera or even bare minimum a microphone over the phone, then, yeah, I'm happy to do that. But I want to put together the steps in that way, you know, through layman's terms where people can clearly see that when you do it that way, that... Uh, they've got not got a leg to stand on, and they 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 acute, you know they um, dismiss the the charges um, because well, if they if they really, were to do it really, any other way, then they would be they, they would be uh, incriminating their their own system. There's only one step, and you pick up the phone and you say, "Hello, I'm Minister and Ben. Can you please update your records?" That's it. <laughs> That's it. That is it, isn't it? Thirty six or seven. It really, it, it really is, and it, you know, when we're living proof of it, really, you know, every single step of everything, we have proved it, uh, and yeah. and we're living it. So, and, and what I can't comprehend is that no one else sort of says, "Oh my God, that's that's incredible," because it is. Well, it is totally incredible. The, the, the issue is if I'm if I'm talking about universal law community trust to other people and I don't have the documented footage of that and that that that's the end of it. And they still they're still worried that, you know, they may have bailiffs coming around because that, that was a big concern for me with my mother living here. You know, that um, she that, that is anything. part of it. That is a part of it that you if you if you do these steps and you don't join i mean 13 the reason why when i looked at your packet that you've been doing and the steps that you've done and i asked you to send me the documents what you did is what a lot of people fall down on which is they joined the accounts together so let's say i've got a council tax account with the council in this legal mm -hmm. fiction and i log in to that council tax account and I change the name in there to Minister of Event, then it's the same as me going to the deed poll and changing my name 
on a deed poll to Minister M. Venom Mickey Mouse, it, it joined as the previous legal fiction that I once credited to the new one that I'm using. And so people um, don't seem to comprehend that part of how these algorithms work and the back of these websites and how they capture the data, thank you, um, that you're using. You know, you, you put in the, the e you re or the, you reply to an old email or they piss you on an old telephone number. What we mean by that is phishing, really. They send a, a, a message or an email to an account that they had on record for the legal fiction and people respond to it. So mm -hmm. the, once you become Minister M. Venn, you don't go back responding as to through um, any and it's like receiving something in the mail saying i don't know who that is anymore right so you wouldn't reply to it yeah so even on your and phone if, so if you get a message from i don't know the previous yeah, it's council tax and it comes through on your phone you can reply on there as minister m of n that yeah. all of these accounts were being assigned including the telephone number and because the assignment is you becoming minister m of n so, so it's not that you're looking for somebody else to do these steps, which is why you could document this yourself is really what I was saying on the email and, the, you know, put the camera on yourself and say, well, I, I went onto this website, I went and did this, I went and did a, a recording. And so I thought instead of this step change option, I'd do this instead. So it meets you. I went, I was told to go here, I was told to pick up the phone, was, this is, these are the steps, and this is what happened to you. Oh, so you're speaking yeah. from, from first-hand experience, any hesitation or uh, obstacles, let's say, that you might meet along the way, you know, none, it's, it's fresh and, and unedited raw material that we want to be giving to people, none of this glossed over shite that's been <laughs> edited and made to look, you know, in abbreviated commas, professional, which is what a lot of people have said about the site. It's all been done to, on purpose to look handmade. You don't need a degree yeah. in anything to build a website. You just need to, you know, it's all done for you. you if you go and you bother to apply yourself, there's absolutely nothing that you can do. There's nothing that you can't do. And so it's... But it, you know, it, it, with with regards to like how people view it, you know, because that's the that's one of the the strongest thing in terms of like trying to convince anyone of anything is like if you send them to a site and they see it as ah, but we're not. I, I can appreciate it's handmade. Right. That, yeah. That's yeah, the point when that it has to it's speaking to a different mindset. It's speaking to our mindset. We want the mindset of people who can see through that for what it is. They're not looking for the gloss. They're not looking for the professional all singing all dancing virtual reality they're looking for the raw material uh that is, is and it filters it acts the filters same thing on facebook you know we, we purposely respond in those ways on to people on facebook to see you know it's, it's a filtration system and people don't realize yeah. that and so they respond like this is no. this is the real thing it's a facebook group and it's not doing its obligation of performance that I expect from it. So, you know, and we see it prams out the toy, prams out the toys and toys out the pram. <laughs> what I was going to say. Um, so, uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, it can be easily documented and, and determined for yourself what it looks like. The same as any bits of this uh, aspects of this that, that we've been sharing with people. So, really, um, it's great that we've got people such as yourself now uh, coming on board and, and uh, enthusiastic. Like, of course, you just got it, didn't you? And it's the resonance of it you were talking to me about. That's it, exactly. And, and I, if, if ever, everyone gets the resonance of it, then you know, it's game over for the system. It's that simple. It's not, it's, not, it's not something that needs to be overcomplicated. But what I've struggled with when I've been taking this information to others, including the, the video from Strada, and I know that it cut out and it missed a few vital moments. And that's uh, my apologies, because it's my camera. It just cuts out every 20 minutes. So I have, 
to edit it the best I can um, without missing anything. But like, I didn't want to interrupt your flow during the event. Do you see what I mean? So, you know, there's always going to be a few words here and there that are not going to be there. And sadly, they were ones that um, you said were quite vital. So what I want to do is put together something uh, as a package, you know, like a, a, a 20 minute piece maximum where it shows me going through the steps and, and um, basically detaching from, from all of this stuff uh, and showing that it can be done and I'm doing it. And, and also then you know, um, the, the bare, most simple way that we can put it in terms, because people don't understand when, it, when I've tried to describe, you know, the legal fiction or um, how this is all fraudulent. They we, just... we talked about this, didn't we, on, the, on that recording. If anybody wants to see that recording, where did you put that um, recording? Can, it's on my bitch the... channel, which yeah. is Expose the Frauds. All one word, um, expose with a capital E, the with a capital T, and frauds with a capital F. And that's on BitChute. Yeah. So look out for a hit on there then. <laughs> now we've just put that out. Um, so well, the, you can watch it's, it's, it's quite a long thing, and people, you know what it's like with people's attention spans. And I've taken it to people who are very on board with the idea. They know that the system is is totally fucking screwing us. Yeah, but, but they, the, they the, cannot the, grasp. The, pe the people who saturate themselves with this are the people that we want. The, we've got 1160 over there in India who came on two or three Zooms and then just went and saturated himself with the YouTube stuff. And he came out verbatim and he's... What he's achieved with 2222 over there and all of the people from India is, is staggering. Um, they've caused their government corporation, pretend to be a government, mm -hmm. to um, decriminalise three vital elements of this case that we pushed into the criminal out of civils by doing what we did. And this is what we're doing all the time. We're pushing, uh, we're, we're pushing admin into criminal it, and and we're, we're you know we're not playing this admin game. The admin system is criminal, and that's it. So they've had to because of what they've done over there. Uh, the prime minister has gone on TV, and the ministry um, of economics ha have decriminalised um, tampering with evidence, state evidence, failing to identify yourself, and what was? Can you remember what the other one was? Oh, uh, obstructing a court official or a public official in their line of duty. Now, all of that became, but has come about because they used Minister M of M <coughs> in their system, which meant that they were claiming against themselves instead of us claiming against ourselves. So the way that I try to get people to uh, picture this is two cars on the drive and you're insured in both cars. You smash one car into the other car, are you insured? Can you claim on your insurance? The answer is no, that would be fraud. But that is exactly what it is that we are doing all the time. We are claiming against ourselves by using that legal fiction. So if somebody said mm -hmm. to me, you know, how can you explain the legal fiction process in layman's terms? It would be that, who are you? What's your name? And they tell you, they'll prove it. That's it. Prove it. Yeah. And well, let's start from there and look then, everybody look at all of the things that we have been indoctrinated with that are unsubstantiated as claims that we've made and continue to make and continue to compound uh, and delude ourselves with. So uh, that's what COVID came about. Uh, to prove to us that was, look how far we've come in the unsubstantiated claim realm world of hypothesis and, and deluded state. Oh, and the, and, the, and the science stuff and everything else. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's, so it brought it's everything just... in. Yeah, it brought religion in. It brought the money in. It brought everything that we've we've based our existence and definition upon. It's all been put in the pot and under the microscope, if you like, to be examined for what it really is, which is unsubstantiated claim. So, what is it that we really 
the kind of only that we, we can glean from that is that we know nothing. And so when you get to that point, that fearful, that point that we all fear, which is the fear of the unknown, and you face it head on, then all of the things that you didn't have labels for and definition of can come at you because you haven't fenced yourself off or boxed yourself in and detached yourself or separated yourself from all that you haven't been projected with a title for or a definition of. So going back 1380 there, you write your own glossary going into the court, your minister and the then, and you really want to know where one very simple thing that dissolves the implied trust that this system requires in order for it to initiate is where is your assignment of consent? Mm. Now, most people won't get that. Some people will at a certain level of, you know, we're all ruled by consent, but most people don't even know what consent is and what it is that they're giving to an, a, another when they say yes or no. Or even, they don't even have to say that. They can just say, what's your name? Or even speaking yeah. the same language. Well, yeah, language. they're not told, they're not given informed nope. consent. They're not told if you give your name, then you're going to be, you're going to be attached to this system. You're going to be in commerce and so on. They're not given the, I think you explained it in Stroud really well with the five, five things. So you, if, if there's a parent, you know, at birth signing the birth certificate, then they wouldn't do it if they were given full disclosure of what that meant. They don't sign the birth certificate. It's a declaration, it's you say. It's the registrar that signs it. You've automatically oh, signed okay. your power of attorney. You haven't got any a power of attorney because you've walked in there as a dead legal fiction, just declaring nothing really. Declaring that some goods just fell out of your missus vessel. Is really, <laughs> really, the, sorry to say it. How layman's terms do you want it, you know? It's, no, fair, fair, yeah. Uh, it, you know, it, so they will it, say, uh, so they will say, we don't need your assignment of consent. Wait a minute. Who will say what? Who will say what? Wait, wait, wait two when you get, Let's get this. When, you get, the when you get to the court, you mean? The pirate ship. When you go into the pirate ship that's docked up there and uh, you say, where's your, assi where's your okay. assignment of consent? The pirate ship, wait a minute, the pirate ship used to be docked out of the Holy Sea, didn't it? Yes. Right, but it's not anymore. It's sat in the big blue. And uh, got, they yeah. are your debtors. Their, their vessel is in our water, not vice versa. That's where Big Blue Asset comes from, the Big Blue, the indefinable blue, that, that vibration of frequencies that makes it look blue when you look at it. It's that. That's as much as we can define it to be. It's blue and it's big. And that's all that we've got. Um, and it's, it sinks their battleships in it. Uh, you know, they've got no... They've got nothing to underwrite themselves within there. That's why they just poof, it simply doesn't exist. And you will see this when you go in there, which is why it's so important that you do. And so leave no claim uh, unrebutted. But how do you rebut it? If you're going in there and you're quoting their fiduciary responsibilities and I'm your beneficiary and well, you just implied that they've you put your trust in them and you're like you're more than happy to continue to accept liabilities or disguised as benefits you're you're consenting and assigning your consent at that point that you use that name that belongs to them for that system to initiate in any way shape or form that they've defined from ecclesiastical downwards now when you go in as Minister and then you will see that you will see, you will see, you will see that that can't happen. Now, but even before Minister and then came along, even if you just went to the court, um, even as a legal fiction at this point, if there's no court is what you're going to find out. It's just a little room that they have rented 
from themselves, just like those virtual reality um, legal entities that create virtual reality inside the matrix system do. They rent in an office, out to an office, claiming against themselves, claiming against themselves, using your equitable rights that you've assigned their consent of by using that legal fiction to them to use. And then you cannot stand that you're a utility transmitting account by consent. And so everything that's done right there, people say it's not in my name, it's exactly done. It's nothing about your name. You just, whatever your name is that you give them, unless you reserve the rights of it for them to not be able to use it, you're in. You're in the game, you're in the matrix, and you've peacefully surrendered yourself as the collateral to underwrite their ship with their, their vessel, their, you know, what do they call it? Like a, a conveyance to convey one thing to the other. And you, you're bombing it out of the water just by going there. Now, and when you get there and you say, well, and let's call the name, and you say, hi, I'm the Vatican debt slave. I'll be the liability holder in due course today, which is effectively what you're saying when you say that's me to the legal fiction. You're then given a means test. Oh, just fill this form in, you know, uh, and tell us how much you can't afford. And off you, that's contract. They've, they, it doesn't really matter what you put on that document. Somebody appeared today to be the person that they needed you to be to act in the role of Vatican debt slave, to be the liability holder for their administrative shit to continue again for another 28 days, 90 days, and so on and so forth. So when Minister Mven goes down there, this is a completely different ball game because suddenly something else comes into play, which is the preservation of their system that instead of you being the one trying to reserve preserve your rights from being trespassed upon, they're the ones running around trying to preserve and reserve what's left of their shitty hypothesis that's only really effective for those who still credit that belief by going in there and accepting the liabilities of paying the bastards. Anybody crediting these terrorists, it really it's time to be rounded up. Go and, you know, take the vaccine. And do us all a favour. Well, that, 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 I mean, I mean, in terms of in terms of crediting them, it's it's anyone who's got fucking stocks and shares in, you know, God knows what. But anybody it, who pays them, it's anybody who uses their slave tokens. Even we, you know, we're forced into it. And once you get this on this must on this scale, that you will when you start to put these steps into place, and it's like opening another door in your mind and seeing it all in a completely different picture. Um, because you have got these other parts that you were kept away from. That's what we're given. It's just this information and sharing the picture of, of putting all of our bits and our learning and our experiences all together and saying, there you go, pick what you want out of that and, and have go yourself, really. Um, so, the, so, the, so the other thing and that about, you know, where, when we've got that information back and, and, you know, gathering the parts of ourselves was the kindness credits and how this operates as a, an alternative. Because obviously, you know, like whatever we do at this point, there's a there's a massive drive, we all know, towards the CB. Uh, so DC, when we went, let's, let's go to that then. So we went, when we went into the uh, keeping the stories together, the council tax, the Nestle, and the Minister of Van and the Rock the kindness credits, that's what they were offered. They were offered a rock at the table. What, like a, a sweetener? No, if you can prove your claim, I'm more than happy to discharge the charges, or we use rocks in our currency. So, and you hear on the recording, the magistrate or the guy pretending to be one, um, saying this, what you're going to pay us with them rocks. Exactly. Bravo. And at that point, he got a little bit edgy and, and <laughs> shouted to her to get out. Because at that point, and you can hear in his voice, you know, we won't let, we don't want to spoil the fun. Go, you know, we'll, we'll send the, we should actually, if you want to download that recording and put it on your channel, and that goes with any of the other videos, if you go, the website's down at the moment, uh, like I said, because of the things that we've been doing. The only way that they can affect us is by doing this, which is what they did the same thing last year when we did what we did to COVID. 
uh, yeah. mainstream TV with the Pope coming out and excommunicating us, which I don't know whether we've had a recording of that go off onto YouTube. So that's what we gained in 2021 was an excommunication from the you Pope. You did speak about it in Stroud. Yeah, on live TV. That's all on the video. You can go across uh, and watch it on there. Um, and um, people now here uh, uh, in the Emerald Isle are uh, still being uh, feeling the effects of this hypothesis with the COVID. So that's just uh, that's about to be ignited uh, with the Queen's Bench Justice Stein order saying that the burden of proof that COVID exists is too great in order to use it in claims, which is what smashed the hypothesis out of the Holy See and Holy See went with it and so <laughs> that's why the response that we got was from the Pope like we just said um, and then this year this 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 is seen as restore the rights uh, and remove the borders of our minds which is what we said that this was about that um, all the gates and the prison doors will only open when nobody needs papers um, obviously we, I knew that this would if uh if the, the outcome was going to be this but how it all came about i obviously had no idea and this is what i believe when we talk about putting your trust in universal law is you haven't got a clue is the honest answer about how it's going to uh, all manifest what parts of this amazing universe has to come into alignment with in order for that one instant the circumstance to create this truth bomb that has exploded um but when you take a step back and you look at all of the the uh, conjunctions if you like of all of the other things that came before that point um it, it's just mind-blowing the the alignment of all of these things that had to come into place so even when you're going through these things you can look back on it and say well without all of that then this just wouldn't be the way it is. So the restoration of rights um, come came with the cost of the hypothesis of again freedom, um, what we what we uh, had interpreted and defined as freedom. We really had to open our eyes and our minds and, and stop pretending that <clears throat> while we can kid ourselves about something as ridiculous as COVID, that we've got any. Uh, form of any validity as far as our definitions go in, uh, up to and including including but not exclusively the definition of freedom so mm. by uh, doing what we did um, we were able to exemplify uh, as that nobody needed papers I said that obviously I would come out when nobody needed papers and <clears throat> and that's what's happened so they uh trafficked me through Heathrow Airport on the 24th of October uh, without any papers um, and told me at the, that point that I don't need any so there we have it and we've got that on record as well. Since then um, the borders, UK border patrol uh, and agency has gone into uh, let's say hibernation um, it went on strike, they said um, the military were going to be brought in. I've had reports from a taxi driver, a friend of ours, who has been taking lots of people and picking them up from various airports across the northern part of what was used to be territory known as the UK. And they're coming back all saying the same thing. What has gone on in there? And so he rang me up and he's like, what did you do? Um, my Customers are coming and saying that we're handy, we're holding our passports out, but there's nobody to show them to. So from, I'm not going to give any specific dates, but between the 1st of December, was it the 1st of December? Yes, from, from let's say the 1st of December to now, there's been three exemplifications uh, uh, sorry, of the two, of the three, yeah, of going through the borders without any papers in both what we would have said to us, UK jurisdiction and also Europe. And that was once as a passenger, uh, which could have potentially been, you know, 
well, determined as well you were good inside the, the uh, people carrier. Wow. And, and then, so it had to be done again on foot, which it was done. I'm going to talk to you about what was said at that point and just in a minute. And then it was also done with a conveyance. And at the point where it was done with a conveyance, I'll tell you on the 21st, the, the uh, returning of the light, what do we call it? Solstice. Um, yep. Sauras go through uh, without any, there's no customs, there's no police, there's no, there's nothing. There's no, there is no papers. Nobody needed papers in all of those circumstances. So well, that, that's that's absolutely it's wondrous. Um, it's incredible. Um, and entirely the way it should be. But my point still remains in terms of like, um, I don't know if you've documented any of that, but uh, we ought to at this point so that it just gets out there. Like, because they can't, they can't, they've already shown that they, they can't censor quick enough these sort of videos on all of the uh, independent, well, so somewhat independent anyway, BitChute, Rumble, Odyssey, Library, et cetera, et cetera, um, where if, if, we, if we do a really good, I mean, it just quickens up the game, surely, where people can be free again um, quicker than going through another couple of years of this bullshit because they're going well, to... you know, just get, all you've got to do, do the steps, get your Minister Emma Vang warranty card, stick your mush on it and go and laminate it. And that's what they say, it's all you need. They said, have you not got a library card? They said, have you not got something where it's laminated with your photograph on it? It's what you're holding there. <laughs> And she went, oh, uh, yeah. And so, so when I went up with on foot, and I just said, I've got no papers. So she went, what, how have you got here without any papers? I said, well, I came without any, and, and I was trafficked on the 24th of October through Heathrow without any. I was told that I didn't need any, so I haven't got any. And I, when I came through here, from here to there, where I'm coming back from, um, I used this, which was my minister of event warranty card now when i was inside i had this massive vision of there was something horrible standing behind me and it looked like a white hooded holy thing with red eyes in the black and i kicked it in my vision and it turned into a policeman and i sprayed the policeman with the antidote do you remember me telling you in 1967 last year yeah, I do. Sprayed, yeah. sprayed the policeman with it in this vision and it dissolved into a big puddle and I was left with his uniform. And I went through mm. this door and I was in like this big airport area, like a customs. And uh, I just walked straight through with my minister ID and it's, it's spliced through their ID cards as it went. And, th and there, was no, there was no borders in this um, and then I opened my purse and something massive fell out and fell into this river and, and it was washed away. And I believe that that was debt that, that, that was being levied and leaned against this rock. And we returned it to source. And when, when, I, when I walked through there, it was like we live in, I was, li I was actually, the vision, it was the whole thing of, that I'd already seen in this vision. Um, I thought I was losing my mind inside. Uh, this was your in Jim Well, she would. It was. Uh, <laughs> it was like showing me. I'd said, you know, come and show me what it is I need to see. I don't know if anybody does this, um, but if you do uh, want to open uh, that part of your mind, uh, then I find it helps if you breathe as deeply in as you can, and then hold it, and then let it out for three um, and you'll find that it starts to burn behind your eyes as you do it and just put yourself into sensory deprivation it was the best thing that they did for me the very best thing that they could and I can't believe I'm actually saying this but it is the best thing and I thank them all daily for the part that they played in in the uh, in the learning and, uh, that this has given me um, and the deprivation that it put me through and the testing. Well, deprivation um, leading to liberation. Absolutely. Because I, what I was depriving myself of really was, was external stimulation that distracted me from the things that I needed to do, which was to be able to uh, see myself 
and uh, and the you know, the farms, um, uh, which is what the, and it gave me this amazing side to me of patience, which I was lacking. And we were laughing the other night about how in twelve months somebody can completely do a three sixty as far as going from screaming. Fuck you, but just slaves and sheep and, and sheep and stuff to, you know, just having this uh, infinite patience. Calm. Yeah, and calm. Yeah. And because, you know, when you've been in, in that environment where it's like saturation point, I suppose, with hypnotherapy, it, you, you, you've you come to this uh place in your mind that you would never have experienced if you hadn't had all of those things so you can't help but smile you know you can't help and then it's like oh she's crazy but you know I was crazy for ever thinking that this was a punishment I was crazy for ever thinking that I didn't need to do this and that you know why is this happening to me but you know uh, even looking at something like a, as a loss it's never a loss even and that's the trick that they've pulled on us how we've pulled on yeah. ourselves is is that yeah well some, something got, you said that really deep if i can interject it's something you really you said that really deeply resonated when we were in stroud and that was look if i had to happen all over again and they want to put me in one of their boxes then i'm still freer than i am if i'm than i am if i'm going about you know pretending to be free um yeah and and operating under their commerce and their system and that was and, that was that was quite profound you know it's 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 true isn't it you could you can't you, you can give up your soul but you can't have it taken from you exactly yeah uh, you either give it away or not it's as simple as that it's not something that is taken it's something that we give and so um when you realize it's not yours to give uh because you haven't claimed it you've just got the right of use of this body you know and even this mind um, and then you can't give it away. You can't peacefully surrender. It's not mine. I've just got the right of use of it. And this is the key, everybody. We stop committing this fraud on our souls. And I know this is why the Schwabs has jumped all over it and tried to corrupt this statement, which is you will own nothing and be happy. Get your heads out your ass, people. We, we own nothing. And we've been completely fucking miserable all this time. So why don't we just acknowledge that we own nothing and stop claiming against ourselves? That's the equivalent of something that they refer to in their Black's Law Dictionary as a quiet title. Keep it on the QT. Keep your soul and the claim that you're about to make quiet. You're not entitled to anything. You are you have the right of use of everything and and we've things that we've overlooked in all of the exciting times that have been going on last year we got a order by somebody professing to be having the right of use of the title so win williams was it win william winnie williams the like win williams yeah who gave them um, who determined that anybody's got the right of use of anything they like even if the consent has been assigned. Now that can go both ways. It's not one that I'd thought that we would ever really use because it's not something that resonated with me. <clears throat> when we got it, I was quite, you know, indignated as you can hear from the transcripts. Um, uh about the audacity that somebody should sit there and say such a thing but going now full circle again if it is a circle excellent uh is 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 the another perspective which is that when you look at it like that we have got the right of use of everything if we stop claiming it we, we can all share it can't we if I don't lay a claim to something, then you don't feel like you've, you've got to lay a claim to something else. And then we don't have to have a fight about whether your claim is infringed upon my claim. Or, you know, if, if we just said, right, okay, well, we've got, the only thing we've really got to do is use it right between us. So we've got a, it's not having the right, a uh, share. 
a, 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 the right of a share of this rock. We've got the right to share it right, I believe. And, and that's the restoration part, I think, that's coming now. So the thing with the kindness credits, when we went into that situation in Lanesley, for example, because it is, they know this. We've been trying to get this message across to you. The East, the rock, and your share or the implied share that they said that you've got that is being used to do all of this to you with. And you assigning it and giving away your implied share of that rock by using their legal fiction with which that happens is what funds them and credits them and gives them the consent. So that's why, you know, nobody should ever feel embarrassed or ashamed of, of offering a rock to somebody because it is the share of the rock that underwrites it all. And by us doing what it is that we've done, we've not compounding commerce because we don't, you can't pay us, you know, said if we were in commerce, it would be 47 quadrillion that you owed us. But because yeah. we don't accept your dirty, filthy slave tokens at our point of exchange, because we can't meet you with the minds or the soul with that, then we've had to convert that debt into the relevant amount of equity, which is the rock and all of our assets and resources and, and rights uh, along with it that they had implied that Un they had. Unalienable rights, off. right, that, that everyone's born with. No, no one can ever dis dismiss that. It's, it's totally the universal law from start to finish that no, no one writes that. And they've usurped and a writ. It. Yeah, well, we, we stopped, we, you know, we stopped uh, uh, using a language that meant what we said, really, what meant what we felt, um, because writ became rights, uh, a person became man or woman, <laughs> if we allow it to be, um, and so it all does just come down to definition, so un a li -na split it up what does it mean a charge cannot be attached so how is it that i stop attaching charges to myself or my implied share of the rock well i stop you i stop plugging myself into a system that charges me for the privilege of doing so and so the minute that i stop plugging myself into that system i, I can't be charged so how do i do that i give the system minister an event and I toss it over there. Well, hello, I'm Minister Ben. I'm a liability holder at this address. Please update your records, please. And again, on the next one, and the next one, and the next one. And do you know what? We have got the right to do that. We're not usurping you. We can come and knock on your door and we can say to you, look, your house has been assigned as part of a debt equity swap to discharge the charges that Her Majesty's government owed to us as a community. And so all you have to do is put the, you, you, your trust in yourself, discharge all of your liabilities, go on this website, put your name in there, press send, and you, you live a debt-free life too. Now, in I don't know what layman's terms is, if it ain't that. Mm. I can't get it into laying. Get up, people. If, if you're laying down and learning this and you need it in layman's terms, and those are the, if anybody has got uh, layman's terms, let's do it in the terms that the people... Well, okay, let me already... it. For, for a lot of people, a lot of people it, is, it is literally Stockholm Syndrome. They think that there is still some sort of benevolent force that wants to look after them and that paying there taxes... There is, let them have that. Let them keep that. It's universal law community trust, your new benevolent force, and we've just discharged all of the charges, and it, here's your right of use back, unencumbered. Yeah. And if you want, here's your credit file as well, but you can't use it. Nisara Jisara, as you said to me before. What? Nisara Jisara, that's what everyone says. Is this Nisara Jisara? Tell them it is Nisara Jisara. They say, oh, it's New World Order. Okay, it is New World Order, but not as we'd have the Zionists define it. Call it whatever the fuck you like, just do it. <laughs> it's, it's really, you know, it's the, we've had it all. We've had the shills, the scams, the frauds, the freaks, the cults, the da-da-da-da. 
we don't, as it stopped. Yeah, well, I, I certainly don't, I don't consider, I don't consider any of you to be cult or uh, sham artists or anything like that. Cult the, comes the, the from one... the word culture. And what, what do we, I, I, I will go, I will take cult. Culture, and culture always... is massive. No, culture and is I'll... massive. No, it's like on a, on, yeah. like a, you know, as a traveler, Let's that's what, what happens. Kindness so credits. One place where something's legal. And then you go to another place where something's illegal and people have a very warped idea of what's moral and ethical and then everyone gets confused. But it's it's absolute, you know, as you we, none of us have a clue who we the best answer is energy and matter and movement to who we are because we, we can't define it. But yeah, there are so many lost wandering souls that are sort of so Stockholm syndrome that are walking around thinking that. They're doing their bit to make the world better by paying into, you know, the... By supporting the their own slavery and the terrorism of this rock, by yeah, paying so, so when I talk about, and, and when I allowing talk about NATO to go and spray that shit in the sky and then talk to us about global warming and, you know, and freaking out because you put your plastic in the, the wrong rubbish bin while they're paying their taxes to these benevolent terrorists, you know, in the... After a point, it really just it becomes really boring. And you just look at those people and you say, okay, well, it's, this is just not for you. We don't need these people to do it. These are people who will follow the market. They will just follow whatever the next individual stands in line for. And we get that. We don't. Well, that's, 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 huge, why... that's a huge, that's a huge general, because, okay, I'll give you a personal story. My brother mm. is not an idiot, uh, yet he has, you know, sort of bought... <laughs> you know it's, 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 it sounds silly to say it but yet he has bought the uh official narratives um, so why don't, well, I don't we don't know. define idiot then <laughs> if he's not an idiot then to define it <laughs> Because well, this is what we don't I, do. We don't. How can I? How can I meet you at the mind? You just said that he's not an idiot, but he just did something that I would consider the definition of idiot being. Be idiotic. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. But and idiot in Greek. I don't think if he was given better information that he would. It, the prob, I th I blame myself for years. I fucking uh, came at him with with all sorts of the stuff that I still think is very true and has been proven to be so more and more over the years. But I went really you know off the scale with the reptilian stuff way early uh over a decade ago and he's he's for, for that reason he's never going to listen to a word i say but uh you know even now with all of the stuff coming out about the uh the jib jabs and everything else he's i think he's just stubborn um but there's a there's a there's a huge sway of the population right that are just going to go along as you said and do whatever they're told he's not one of them but I can't get through to him. So what I, what I really want to do is is put together these these things with people who've done it, like yourself, uh, that that speak from the heart and that he can listen to that have nothing to do with me. You know, because it's it's a sad world that we live in when your own family would rather listen to someone like Bill Gates over your brother, and that's the only way I can put it. It's it's it, for me. It's, it's I want I, I really want to get through to these. Yeah, yeah, it is tr exactly, and you know, I'd I'd trust him with my life, but he wouldn't trust me to throw a. <laughs> I wouldn't go there, but just, just know that you're not alone in that situation. A lot of us, our immediate family members, are doing the same to us. Yeah, they will listen to all, the third party. All, all of us. Toby. All of us. Yeah. You know, you're not so, on your own. At, at some point, you just got to recognize that they're not going to listen to you. It's got to come from a third party, and yeah. you know they'll, well, they'll, get, so that's, they'll get it when they they'll get it when they get it. Yeah, but I think this is a this is a prime example of what a third party. You know, you, you've had brilliant results and you've gone through your hardships and you've got there through you know. The yeah, but they'll have to find their own way. They'll have to discover it for themselves. You can't yeah. tell them. It has to be no, it's their own moment. But mm. yeah, uh, you trying to push it onto them and say, "Have a look at this third party telling you," is you telling them they'll never listen to it. They'll have yeah. to discover it for themselves. Yeah, right. I agree. Well, yeah, you can't. You just oh, we tried and tried. It's never going to yeah. happen. Because they're <clears throat> journey. Yeah, your 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 best bet is to give up on the help the people that are ready to be helped. Forget anybody yeah. else. Plant the seed, yeah. walk away. 
I, I am sort of there as well. Like I, and I do hear what you're saying. I totally agree with it uh, in many ways. You know, obviously it's difficult because I love my brother beyond, the, beyond much in the world, but um, there's, um, there's, many, there's many other uh, things that I've brought up tonight around layman's terms where still I'm not feeling like that most people that I could, uh, who, who are much more sort of open to this information that they'd get from what, the way it's being discussed right now, like in terms of the legal pitch, I think there's there's certain things that um, will always put people like, oh, well, it'd be better to just do it, make sure by going through the system. So what what ways can we categorize this as freeing our souls that aren't seen as the cult like um, or the uh, you know uh, the, the woo woo stuff because that that's literally where the key lies to me anyway like the, there's so many okay. people what, who are, one, one of the things they're, they're, that comes they're, up I would in call advertising. Them right? yeah one of the things Sorry. that advertisers know very well is that most people won't get a message from one source they need to hear it from three separate sources before it triggers anything in their mind yeah so yeah. The, having the message come from the and and then it's up to the individual to choose whether they want to you know what they want to do with that uh, information. You cannot make somebody do something that they do not want to do. Absolutely. End of. Yeah. Right? You can persuade them, you can coax them, but you're going to be wasting more of your time doing that. You're better off finding the people that are ready to jump on board with this, work with them. The others plant the seed, walk away. And I, I'm having to find this the hard way. You know, I've got family that I love dearly and it pains me to know that they've taken the jab and they're, you know, using the slave tokens and following all, all the, you know, the, the, uh, the guidance from the governments. And it pains me dearly to see that happening. But I know at some point I've got to give up and let them do what they're going to do. That's their life. I can help them yeah. when they're ready to be helped. Until then, yeah. there's not a lot I can do. I spent the last 20 years you know, banging on about this. Hello, brother. Yeah. <laughs> and you don't want to, trust me, you don't want to spend 20 years of your life doing this. No, uh, this is, you well, are spending 20, spending 20 years of your life that you're never going to win the, the, the argument or thing is just a total waste of the time. Exactly. So yeah, well, the best, I mean, the best exactly advice I can there. give you, the best advice I can give you is plant the seed, walk away, if, some, if they come across this information from a different source, they're more likely to hear it. Mm. Yeah, but work with, yeah, the people, I, I, but work with those people that are ready to, you know, that, that are on board already. Work with them. But that is, that is what I'm essentially trying to say is that aside from, you know, the ones that we're talking about in terms of like immediate family that I've had to already for a long time let go of and, and they're not going to ever listen to me. There are many people that I have found, you know, sort you could call them tribe or whatever. And and this is something that, you know, they're ready to hear, but they're not quite understanding. So when um, uh, Zero One Zero was talking about, um, you know, the, the, the fact that the website's laid out in such a way on purpose, that it's not meant to look, you know, corporate or professional or any of that, right? So, but there ha there's, there's got to be a sort of a, a delivery mechanism for those people who are ready to, they, they understand the corruption, they, they've not taken a jab, they want to be on board for the new, whatever you want to call it, uh, and but yet they, they they struggle to get the point of what what this the is all about. The cognitive dissonance goes deep. you got to remember yeah. that we are born into this system, and, you know, yeah. for a lot of people, they don't know any difference. They even, you know, they think that legal is lawful. And, you know, because they think that, you know, they're never going to see past that point um, until they experience something themselves directly where they are impacted by it. Um, and, you know, it's pointless trying to persuade people that you cannot have an influence over. Just work with the people that you can. Yeah, well, the, 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 I am talking about that. That I'll keep saying it again and again, but that is what I am doing. I mean, like I say, a lot of these people that I found 
jabbed. They have mm. not taken the jab. They're not going along with anything that they got, you know, but this this is a step for them, which they're struggling to understand. And I'm still asking for the, and I, I get it, you know, because even when I'm listening to a lot of what uh, 010 is saying, it's how am I going to relay that to those that are ready to jump aboard the new ship, so to speak? And well, clearly, clearly they're not ready if they haven't got it yet. All you can do. Well, is they have got it. I mean, they've stopped. They've stopped. They've stopped doing everything that that, that we've all. Um, but they're still getting, you know, the letters and everything. They're still getting the threats of the bailiffs and so on and so. But they're not. They don't want to play ball. They just. But when they listen to what we've been putting out so far, I say we um, sort of. Will we? But what you guys have been putting out so far, they get, they can't quite grasp the the message, like how this is the key to the game. And that's what the only the only thing that I'm trying to get here is is to a point where I can document it in a way where it's more un, um, so that more people who are ready to jump the ship of the system can climb aboard the new ship. You see what I'm saying? And I th and I think that's because they're attached to the name. You know that there, there is a strong attachment. You know you've grown up with this name. It's your name. Why should I give it up? And you know there's all of these sort of conversations. That people will have with themselves and, mm. and probably much more um and you know they, they, they're indoctrinated into thinking oh we have to pay for these services and rather than why don't we just cooperate and make it happen you know it's the people Absolutely. that make things happen it's not the money together and bring them but, to a meeting or something but that, that's but, the best but that's, a, but that's a mind shift uh, that's a mindset shift that they need to go through yeah um we can assist them uh, but we should. What I'm saying is, don't don't get so hung up on it that it becomes a barrier for you. You carry on doing what you're doing, mm -hmm. and you know people will see the results. And once they start to see the results, um, they will start to say, "Hey, you know, there's something. There's a good gig over here. I want to go over here instead." Yeah, absolutely. I, yeah, completely <laughs> resonate with what you're saying completely there. That's exactly how it's worked with any time I've gone sort of off the radar and silent over the years and then, you know, something's worked and then they, suddenly I'm all popular again and, you know, like, oh, how did you manage that? You know, and, and, it, and that how it goes because they start to think it's their own idea and so on. And I don't, yeah, obviously it is to a certain extent their own idea, but... I still think at this time it's like we're it. You not do you not consider that it's sort of like a race right now to because they're they're not gonna. Okay, they're not let's gonna say stop. it's a race. Let's say it's a race right now, right? Hmm. And is it worth your time spending ten years of your life trying to convince one person where you can just carry on and move forward, and you know have a hundred other people that are ready to move forward? Well, obviously, don't the get hung people up. Ready to move don't. Yeah, what I'm saying is don't get hung up on that one or two that you've got to convince, oh, you got to join this, you got to do this. Don't get hung up on them. But find the ones that are ready. No, I'm, if, I'm, I'm really only saying, like, I think that there, there is now a point where we've got so many examples of how this does actually really, truly work. It is really, truly true. That and let's we, get that we, out into the world and let the people yes. that are going to see it make their own mind up. Yes, yeah. that's that's all I'm saying. That's okay. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's exactly it. And I'm and as I've said at the beginning of this call, I'm ready to go through the steps myself before the 17th January, and whatever happens happens. But I, I, you know, I wanted a few assurances around. I'm I'm living back at my mother's place right now, and she's just not good with with confrontation. I'm okay faced with nasty bullies. I've done it all my life, but a lot of people aren't. And my mother's one. Of she would just lose her shit. Uh, but um, yeah, you know, it, sometimes it has to be done in some some ways. But if if I can do this and keep her out of it to the best of my ability, that's what I want to do. It's a, well, it's I must a very, I must be honest. It's with, it's very, I must be honest with you. I don't think you need to expect to have any fancy things happening because I've had absolutely nothing happening, and I've done it for a whole year now. And I've had lots of funny letters saying that these guys are going to come and knock on the door and they'll be there in so-and-so day at such and such a time. It's never happened, right? So yeah. I think, okay. and I think the best thing actually is to keep as quiet as possible. That's what I've done. I've just sent the things back and said not at this address, but anything else, I've just ignored it, right? That's and a you, really you, good yeah. point. You just carry on, I've just carried on with my life, right? 
And okay, I don't pay council tax, I don't pay electrics, I don't pay water, I pay nothing. And they've all Maybe come up. To charge oh, all your charges. Yeah, yeah. And they, they, they've sent me letters saying, oh, yeah, we're going to send somebody here, we're going to get a court order so we can come and put a prepay meter in your place and da 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 da. da. And I just ignored it. And it never happened. It's never happened yet. But, so, it's one thing I did. Adding, when you add it, when you add to these steps, mm. uh, anything at all, yeah. other than just return to sender, and, and yeah. that's the quiet title. You are quieting the presumption that a claim is being made to any of their titles. Yeah, and I think that I think all these clever things that they've got, oh, just, just phone us and we'll, we'll do the survey and find out how we can help you. You just then playing straight into their hands, right? Whereas if you keep quiet, nothing they can do about it, is it really? Because I haven't, I haven't responded. I haven't done anything else, and I've done nothing. And I think that, if so you... that was it. That was that was entirely my strategy, and mm. that's what I did for a long time. With uh, I can't tell you how many letters. Uh, then I got ones that you know I didn't. They didn't have any return address on the on the envelope. So I I steam opened it and then steam shut it. But uh, you know whatever the purpose because i didn't know where to send it back to it didn't have anything on the inside of the envelope to tell me where to send it to but a county court judgment thing being levied against me so i then got in touch with these dutch de uh, debt charities um and told them about my debts but i haven't been in touch with the actual um well the so-called uh creditors or debtors right uh so yeah so that essentially that they yeah, are, you're right, they're your, they're your debtors now. So each one of those claims, those statements of accounts that we've been wrongly calling bills are actually a bill of exchange um, when you endorse it and you action it and you accept uh, to be the liability holder of it. Or even what you're actually doing is you're accepting for them to use your share of the rock for the mm -hmm. gas or the electricity. That is what's actually happening. When you pay them, you're paying a 1% ad administration fee for them to do it, which is, well, private corporation, how it exists. So, yeah. it, you know, this, this is layman's terms. Like you said, the debtor and creditor there. They, everybody knows those terminologies, then, but they have yeah. the bank or the loan shark or, a, you know, uh, uh, some kind of money lender as the creditor. And it's actually, that's where, you know, the, the fraud, was committed there upon our minds right from the word off because we've always been a creditor uh, without us and our sign of nature uh, signature endorsing these documents the, the system that requires that endorsement and on warrant is actually what you're doing you're, it's a golden web for people who haven't got their heads around this terminology and they want to uh, get their heads into being able to comprehend something more than layman but then i would recommend golden web uh on the chiron channel on youtube as well to just kind of break things down for you um who's that sorry it's called the it's the chiron c-h-i-r-o-n channel here on last can you type, it in on, the, can you type um, it in on the chat yeah i'll put it in now and, and uh, the particular, the, the really great, all of the episodes are really great, but then you've got Golden Web, uh, which talks about etymology um, and uh, phonetics, um, touches a little bit on the Greek. It takes you to a certain level of comprehending, um, and I would go, go and watch that. I recommend that to everybody. And then also I uh, reading and learning the Greek language um, to overlay that over the top of it is really when you've turned your corrupted mind, let's say back all the way from Babylonian bollocks, <laughs> we call it uh, legally, uh, you know, we drenched ourselves in UCC definition and code and ecclesiastical definition really is that what it's all can be just a big circle put around it and say, right, okay, well, as long as I don't do any of that, and then everybody's like, oh, how long it's got seven years to learn all of this. And it really, the thing that we're talking about is as long as you don't do that which you've been doing up until now, which is what identifying yourself as a Vatican debt slave. So yeah. that then immediately uh, puts you back in that you have been the creditor and the debtor. You've been both of these things. 
because anything else just simply doesn't exist. So it's not them or they or it's us that have been doing this for ourselves. So if we've if we've uh, accepted for capitalism to be committed upon our rights, then oh that's okay. You know, we, we it's a lesson that we've learned. Well, we retired now from credit in that mindset and we're discharging the debts that that mindset caused. Um, nobody else can do that. There's no official receiver on this rock that can do it other than yourself. You are officially receiving those liabilities and using your rights to discharge the charges against them instead of giving the responsibility of that to a governing of your mental state, a government. And you are determining it for yourself. You know, so now this is really is helping me a lot more to get into the layman terms I was on about, because what I want to do is express the language to people about how they empower themselves. Rather, mm. you know, it's, 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 yeah, rather than telling them everything that they've got to do, but if they can understand that only them are going to free themselves from the, the, the slave tokens, the slavery system, the, the, the whole package, solemn, you know, it, it's... Uh, it's it's basically up to them, but how we put that in in terms to them that they can be motivated by, not uh, scared off by. Yeah. Hello. 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 Uh, Hello. Can I just say two quick things? Right, yeah. Rob. Uh, when it comes to letters, yeah. if, if you've got one really curious and it's got no return address, I found out by accident by leaving it in the kitchen and like spilling some oil on it that it goes see through. <laughs> and it's always the front page that's on the front. So just smear a little oil across your envelope and you'll get the return mm. address. All right, fair play. And Thank it dries you. out so that it goes opaque again. <laughs> the other thing is, uh, concerning adding things to the steps, when it came to calling up the electricity board, and I said to them, can you change uh, the, the liability holder is now Minister M of N, they were all ready to change the name. Then I added something. I, I asked them a question. I said, can you send the bill to the trust address rather than the uh, supplier address and that just shook up a, a nest of, of wasps and customer service gone it and and they won't send it to anywhere but the supply address what they call the supply address they don't supply anything um and consequently since then they've absolutely refused i've got them I in right in refusing to change the account everything else and they came and fitted prepayment meters which i've also discovered through looking at the process that they're doing completely against their own laws yeah. as, mm -hmm. as not actually being the supplier themselves they've got no right to even apply for a warrant when they go to the court um i after they've done the ppms in the law it says that you can cancel a ppm within 14 days and that the supplier yeah. is supposed to, sorry their, their legislation shite you mean yeah the legislation right. shite, they completely ignore it Right, yeah, they, they break they break their own law. Um, uh, that they're supposed to tell you verbally or in writing that you've got a right. Who, of who are they supposed to tell? Um, the legal fiction, obviously. Uh, there you go. So yeah. nothing you. happened to you. <laughs> I so, yeah, <laughs> yeah, but then you know, I sit yeah. and make it up, and then so I they, say, oh, yeah, but they do all that. They don't. They don't do any of it. And when they go to court, um, there's uh, if you ask for the warrant from the court. That all it is is like SSC applied for entry. Yes, uh, Mrs. June, do do and so and so so and so underneath two names who were responsible for granting a warrant. No reason for the application. No actual warrant. But, when they but, okay, that, wait. Can I just ask a question? Did go on. that did they? So they didn't change the account to Minister M of N then? No, they didn't. No. Right, and because if they, they that's they can't do that, obviously. Uh, I sent them the documents, come. everything recorded. And yeah. yeah. But the, um, you just need to do restoration of rights of the supply. And when you said it, you know, they're not supplying you with anything, it's us supplying them. We're supplying them with our energy. Sure. sure. Uh, as a utility transmitting account, which you know. Um, yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> But, so, you know, it's worse when you're doing it. Uh, so what are you going to do about that? Oh, you need, if you have ever found yourself in these circumstances, um, then, you know, just send us an email. Before, it should have got 
to we should have got to this before this point though so why uh but what point did they get a warrant a so-called warrant that we know is never underwritten well, by anything they did one for the gas in march uh and basically just turned up and did it <laughs> and uh uh Although I, they are, I have notices in both my meters stating that we are the creditor, etc., and uh, the schedule A, and the fact that you know. They, yeah, but I, they're, they're, they have to have a utility transmitting account at that address, so that you have to have a bank account or their still or a, something else that they can cross check in their data because they have to go through something called the risk assessment to make sure yeah, that yeah. they are really coming to uh they have got the jurisdiction of that uh debtor account for those charges and this is sure. what was getting 1160 across to all of the prison wardens that's yeah. when it all blew up when he said which account is it that you're going to use to charge the charges against for keeping me in your private prison so and that was it they couldn't put him across there because they haven't got one right. because they have been using minister and ben and yeah. so where here people have been using Minister Amadan and putting that in their system, you can see the difference as to what happens when you don't. Yeah. So even at the point where, let's say, they've gone down that tax and they've still um, presumed that Minister Amadan, even if I, if I can use one address for a million titles if I want. Uh-huh. So, you know, even if they're sending a warrant for the legal fiction, uh, uh, and it's got to that point, I'd be going to the court that, uh, as Minister Emma Ben on behalf of the rights that were once crediting that account. And I, I want to know who it is who's assigned them because sure. we haven't. Yeah, sure. Uh, I mean, Did you not they, go? And they sent out a, 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 a thing saying they were going to apply for a warrant. And I sent it back saying, yes, I'd like to be at the court. I will be appearing as Minister Emma Ven. La, la, la. And uh, both times they ignored actually informing me about the court dates, either by legal fiction or anything. So they didn't actually respond to my request to be in court. And then, as I say, what the court sent me is what they claimed was a warrant. Just I said, well, thanks very much for the court entry. But where's the warrant? And they said, that is the warrant. I said, well, what was it? What was it actually granted for? Where's the record of the of the court case? They said there is no record. We don't keep the recording. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, basically, uh, so I said, OK, well, I can see where you're now potentially liable because either SSC have applied for a one on the grounds of a possible fault or which would have been a lie because when they came to do the gas, they were literally just did it, popped in, right. checked uh, the gas is, and went again. Where, no this, fault. Is where you, this is where you need to comprehend the settlement part. So yeah. when it gets to this point, it, there is you offering you're, you're officially receiving these charges yes i did once credit that league fiction title and yes i did once assign my consent to your corporation yeah to utilize my shares and sell them back to me but i retired from that role and i'm not playing that game anymore and so even if then they they still uh, continue You'd pick up the phone and say, hey, I'm Minister I'm Ben, I've been assigned this account. You've got a, a claim here for 20,000 slave tokens worth of electricity. And I'd just like to know which one of these accounts would you like me to discharge these charges against? I did it. Would you like, I did what, that. I did that. And they ignored that as well. <laughs> you, and, and do you put it in right into them that they'd already been discharged and give them an adjustment of account? No, that part I right. don't know how to do. That, that's um, the bit. That okay. is the bit that the online accounts were set up for nearly three years ago. How long many years right. ago now? Yeah, nearly three years ago now. Yeah. And to you know, do exactly that. that. Yeah. yeah. And so, and this was the bit that the Minion couldn't get, um, uh, which is to have all of that accumulating. So when you get a charge in that legal fiction title that you want credited, open your ledger book and start to create these um, uh, entries that are accumulating a certain amount of uh, slave token value. This is how much you would be creating if you continued to pay the bastards. Yeah. Now, you know that that's 1%. Yeah. Of the amount that you will actually create for them through their tips mechanism and the fiat currency. 
Yeah. So add some notes to that when you get to the bottom of your adjustment of your accounting. Right. Now, take your schedule A out and look, what is it that these corporations have done? So we've already secured HM government. What you're actually doing now is you're going to assign a portion of the debt from the 2020 2000 account, yeah. which is HM government, that's got a, a 10 quadrillion carried forward balance. Indeed. And then you're going to take the amount that you've accumulated from what it is that they've done to you. This is how we accumulate, accumulated the debt in the first place. These corporations sending charges or implying liabilities or obligations uh, obviously entered into contract with our trading uh, side of the trust and the, the accumulated charges according to the schedule so you have a look at the schedule they've sent a, a charge they are trying to coerce somebody into committing uh, liabilities that's 20 million just from somebody sending one bill yeah. So you can quickly adjust your own account now. So if let's say they've sent a bill, they've made a phone call and you've accumulated 25 million, let's say for a round up figure. Right. And off now you've got a carried forward 10 quadrillion from Hedgeham government under the SSE's account now, which is a sub account of your kindness credit account. Right. You've got an, an, an amount in there that they've just accumulated. So you, what you're doing is you're accounting for your share of that debt now being used as credit to discharge the charges against. Right. And so let's say you've got 25 million in there. They've sent you a bill of 20,000. So that's 20 million that you would have accumulated over there. They still owe in this kindness credit account number, which is your kindness credit account number forward slash 001 or whatever it is you're going to give SSE in your ledger. Mm -hmm. it, you've now got an adjustment to say it's, they owe, still owe, that account still owes 5 million. Right. Mm. So you, 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 and that is then what you're accounting for um, on a template that we've got. Mm -hmm. And you're just, you just put the, all you're really doing is changing your account number, the date that you're accounting for, the amount that you're accounting for, and you can have the template and you can do it all yourself. Um, because it is really you and your liabilities that you are officially receiving. And it is supposed to be you that is accounting for that. So if you're ever called upon to prove in their definition of what proof is mm -hmm. in the definition of theirs in their definition of proof is something written in a ledger witnessed by somebody recorded in the day right with a day it's a deed a recording of a deed and okay. that's the restoration of the roles building part that right. we're talking about well we're, yeah, yeah. that's why we had the big blue asset management online um where you were all putting your data in there with your with your assets in there. But, you know, again, we're just assigning our consent to be under the jurisdiction of their, whether their network works or whether we've done the right thing or said the right thing or, uh, you know, <laughs> we haven't had the Pope on I don't, TV. I don't want to complicate things here, but if, if that's the case as well, can I then say also that I don't, I don't understand the Gregorian calendar because it isn't time as I know it? as you know because this is this is a huge thing that i think is the spellbound humanity at the moment like that we're actually operating under a calendar that is completely um roman text I'm not, calendar. are you are you <laughs> yeah. i uh i did i uh, we've just come to now we've just got now that's it where yeah. in Icaria, where, the where the first kind of credits where the first kind of credits outlet was open they don't have their hands on the clock because the chronos is the spell you write about the illusion of time and that's what they they that's why they don't have hands and that the people so, that so, live so, there so any date any date asked for you just put now in the we've got all sorts you can write eon <laughs> how many uh, whatever how many particles it is that went past my eyeballs that many <laughs> it's up to you in it? it's <laughs> How many breaths it was since I saw you last? <laughs> it's up to you to, to define, uh, you know, when do you start counting? 
and what That's where we can have some for. fun. Yeah. yeah. It, uh, and so, you know, it's peeling back all of these layers it gets you to that point, which is feeding now, feeding Kronos babies. So, so, so right back to the layman's term, if, if someone asks me, okay, so what does M of N mean? How can I hmm. say in a sentence or two? It's one uh, word. That it's, it's, in, it's, it's one it, word. It's one word and the word is indefinable. Okay. And that's the end of the conversation. <laughs> it is, isn't it? If you say, it, you know, hello, who are you? Indefinable. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's, and that's what I've said in the course. And that's what smashed it all. Because it is that if, if you don't remember anything, if somebody asks you a question about who you are, I'm in indefinable. Yeah. How can I, you know? You've got the whole universe. I was saying this to somebody the other day. You've got the whole universe to choose from. Why would you choose Vatican Debt Slave? I yeah. said that in the course as well. If somebody's that. asking you to intercontract, uh, you, you know, tell me what your name is. Are you trying to coerce me into fraud? What do you mean? I just asked you what your name is. I believe I haven't got the right use of what it is that you want me to use. So you can call me, me. So the, next, me. the next question that comes to mind on that note is that, Obviously, if I go through this, like it will wipe out um, the, the the overdraft in my bank account because I don't want anything to do with these banks. Um, and surely we'll all find another way. And maybe I can use Wise or Revolut or whatever in the meantime. But uh, yeah, Barclays will most certainly cancel my uh, my ability to bank with them. Let's say. So. Well, you think uh, that, but but you'd think that, but. I can tell you that based on experience, it, that's not been the case in many instances. No, no um, because they want to try to keep a joinder at that address. So we have got something that I'll talk to you about face to face um, or somebody you can meet who is in your vicinity, who can tell you this face to face, which is mm -hmm. about what we do as a solution to that. Um, in the meantime, obviously, the solution to that is that everybody stops using their currency. Um, and it's coming, you know, and I've said this by, um, should I say the date on here? 24th of January. Um, and around that particular time is going to be a critical point for, I believe, um, but all for the right reasons. Uh, Due to the way that their mechanism works and the patterns that they that this code is that they uh, have that this jurisdiction uses um, to trap our energy in, um, so the, the the solution obviously is using the rocks um, and doing these exchanges and this barter that everybody talks about doing. Uh, but if, if people just could step back and realise you're swapping your energy. Slave tokens or oh, cryptocurrency. Yeah, we do everything for anyone and, anyway. And then you're swapping whatever it is the token for whatever it is that you're going to go and sustain your family with as food. And because it's a slave token, you can only go to the slave token depopulation stations, 1367s, rightly titled them, christened them, <laughs> christened Slaveville. <laughs> um, and you know, you can't you you can't buy shit with kindness credits, that's our strap line. And depending which way you look at it, it's like you can't buy shit with kindness credits. Yeah, because you, because you can't invest in shit. The minute that mm. you start to introduce kindness credits into your community and start to talk to people about it, about how that box of veg that you thought was worth 100 quid so that you could pay your electricity bill is now worth the equivalent of 1,000 quid because you just gave me all of your bills, including your electricity, your gas, your water, your council. And your most your valuable commodity being your fucking time and energy. And, and your know. energy, yeah. exactly. Mm. So, so instead of you standing there and, and waiting for 10 customers to come along at 100 quid each to pay your liabilities, you've given me that box of food that was, you thought was worth 100 quid. You've converted that energy that it cost you to get that box of food in front of me into 1,000 slave tokens worth of credit. The next guy who walks in through the shop door who they thought you were going to have to give 100, they thought you were going to have to take 100 quid off, is now, you know, it can be 50 for the next one that makes you as a, a as a business so competitive now in the market because you've just mm. halved all that well, you've completely discharged all the liabilities and halved your rec mm. your retail price um you know you can even go further with that and, and then you're in the next column 
of this energy structure that we've got and that we've already been using, but it's just been kept from us, from the comprehension of how it works. Um, you know, when we've dumbed ourselves down, said, oh, it's too complicated. It's not. You've been doing it all your life, exchanging energy for the things that you think that you need. But we've just had mm. this third party interloper call money involved in it. And you don't need it. You just need trust. Right, and a lot of the, a lot, a lot of the energy need... that we think we wanted was only stuff to sort of escape from the shit that we didn't get paying into in the first place. <laughs> Yeah, you were paying the protection racket that were there to stop you right. accessing your resources is the bottom line. We've been paying uh, to persecute ourselves for profit. That's insane. <laughs> it is that, that is the greatest <laughs> state of psychosis to be in and, and then deny it and blame these people in suits and say it's the bank or it's the council or it's the lawyer or it's the judge or it's the government uh, you know it's not it's your imaginary friend called god who is doing this mm -hmm. to you because you're born into sin you know or whatever story it is that you've hooked yourself into and sucked up like a good little vatican sponge you know so it doesn't matter which religion it is you know when you get to that point you see that the those nihilists who believe in nothing and, and don't depend on us believing we are nothing and in nothing, which is projected onto us by them. So mm -hmm. it's all written by the same nihilists getting us to believe in something that is actually nothing. So we're, we're all nihilists anyway. And indefinable. <laughs> and we're, but we're, it can still stay defi indefinable. It's only when we try to define ourselves that we start to make a claim that suddenly, well, uh, now if I say I'm this and because of what you believe, then you're going to, you know, you might pull a gun out on me because of what I believe. God. So if I, if I could stay in my indefinable state, as this is infinite peace around you, and it helps other people do it too. So even when they're in the worst turmoil that they can possibly be in, it, by you just you know giving that very one simple thing to them is that ask yourself how why are you feeling like this and how do you feel oh i feel really miserable how do you know it's miserable if you've ever had a definition of happiness or freedom or you know whose whose definition are you using to compound into reality and and why and so when you have your you own glossary hey and uh, well, on that note as well, how you feel, you know, as a result of someone else's definition of happiness or sadness or whatever, you, you're compounding how you feel if you yeah. buy into it. Because, and it's somebody else's projection, it's not your own, because you haven't written your own set of definitions. You haven't, you know, you've not uh, uh, unleashed yourself in all of these uh, untitled, unknown definitions because you were afraid we were taught to fear the unknown. That's the whammy of it all but all of it's unknown which is like we talked about in that video when you came and did the we document yeah and we'll, we'll always be and that's the beauty of it in fact like, you know so embrace that then, you know so uh, even in, when you can you start to practice those thoughts that take you down that feeling that then take you to that emotion that makes you want to cry and and if you, you suddenly and you choose that um you know uh that was your choice it's just like it's just like it's, it's just like bullies in school eh? as soon as you stand up you realize they have no power but yeah but it's you yourself do. it's your yeah, 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 exactly. trap it so you can turn it on yourself and say i'm the one who's been bullying myself but with this belief that i need money in order to be able to achieve what it, the right of use of something you do not that is the illusion you just need your trust and universal law, get it all out of the way, and everything that you could possibly imagine can come in, into your reality. But you well, have I'd, to I'd love to ask that. for your trust on, on what, you know, for me, this call's all been about is parting, um, partly about, you know, do beginning to document everything that we've been talking about. So I know you've been recording it, and if I can get a recording of it and to you know, we'll put it, it on YouTube. Everybody can have it. Of course. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> my YouTube is uh, on the verge of being shut down after the last few videos I uploaded there, including your one, which got took down very quickly. Uh, Did it? Yeah, yeah. 
10, ten, ten minutes. Yeah. Uh, and <laughs> ten then another one it was was, up there. was about the UN <laughs> the UN agenda that got took down after about twenty sec. Well, I don't think it ever even got public. Um, you know, it, it was I couldn't couldn't open it. It was gone. And then I got the uh, the uh, very sincere. <laughs> We don't want you to lose your channel. <laughs> Patronizing double speak. Yeah. So, so the before we we we'll talk about trust now, uh, the, the, we've got another order that I want to just talk about, which is absolutely awesome. Um, it was to one two eight. Once again, amazing what you do. Um, the shame is what, just off the call, sadly. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, right. Okay. Yeah. Well, they'll hear it because this is still recording. Yeah. Um, still recording. The Birmingham City Council thought that they had a claim um, against one of our MVNs for unpaid rent um, after the right of use of the so called social housing has been used to discharge a portion of the debt in the way that I've just been explaining. And so that went to the court as well so on, on one particular day in November the system thought that they would test us and uh, minister an event and give us three cases spread across the country spread across two countries in fact if you go by the borders um, at the same time on the same day about uh, similar things the right of use of uh, a property an asset um, and as to whether they could still imply that they've got a claim on it, it turns out that no, they cannot. So it doesn't matter whether you've got a mortgage, people, or whether you're living in social housing or uh, property from uh, um, the council, for example, this works in exactly the same way for you as it works for anybody else. And the order there was that the, because the Minister of Mavenna appeared, so first of all, they said that nobody was representing the account. Then in the next sentence, they say, but the man appeared as, as Minister of Maven to represent the account, the equity, the account. Um, and um, that because of that, the judge had to recuse himself because he was going to bias himself. Now, what does that mean? That means that they recognize now that it will be the precedence that we're gagging for you to do this administrative system and you know it, and that's why you're not doing it, uh, which is to make an order to say that a debtor can claim against its creditor. You've been listening to the Zoom to your agents, we know that, and getting your ministry, ministerial training. Um, and, you know, we've got nothing left to disclose that obviously you're not already aware of. And I'm speaking mostly to myself and the people whose minds that still credit and invest this system of fiction and keep it alive. It's like going over to a dead thing, kicking it and saying, make me rich, give me some money. I know you're not real, but here we go. Here's my assets, my time, my energy, my mind, uh, and my soul you're put into soul, your yeah. pot. Uh, and, uh, and then I can scream at you, you've stolen it. So once you've discharged that, um, this is the response then from the system that we've been getting which is the act as receipts. So anybody who's in this situation, you can use these, these are precedences. This is the evidence that once you assign and reserve the rights of your equity uh, or reserve your universal rights from being implied to be up for commercial activity to be committed against them, and then you, you started on the path of being the official receiver of your own liabilities and discharging them and settling any liabilities. And imagine that you've got a great big ledger in the universe and you're cleaning your soul. So whatever it is that you see in one column, but in other words, however much shit you've got in one column, is always the exact and equal uh, opposite of the um, debt that it is the you know if it was given a monetary value it would look like this and um, so 
you know, we've given up what we believe and have been indoctrinated with as our freedom. And really that's what you're doing. You are swapping one definition which you've been indoctrinated with. You're not free if you're still counting slave tokens. You're not free if you think that your happiness can be bought. You're not free if you uh, depend on anything else other than your own self to be able to create that feeling of happiness and joy and appreciation. Uh, no matter what it is that you've got and and uh, is there in the now so that's really what all of this is really about it's you know it's universal of course so it's exoteric it's it's etheric it's you know it's mathematical and also if i may if i may interject there just say that um you know they're they're refusing because they know that it's their system that they're operating within and that's they know it's the end. if that if that order if that order, can you imagine that order? If, if they'd have said, if they'd have continued with it, either of those two orders, it was the, the opposite of that order would have had to have said uh, that the, uh, the, 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 the skips and building society have got repossession. Isn't it? Mm. That's, uh, and even, and even, even when they've done that, they've learned now. This uh, six months ago, they'd gone to try to do a repossession on a property because somebody kept adding to the administration of that and taking it back into commerce and then doing a bit more and then putting it back in and then putting it in common law. And, and because they had to exercise their comprehension of what it was by practicing all of these different things themselves. And, and you know, that's all right as well. Yeah, it's frustrating. But they're, they're, perfectly see... aware, they're perfectly aware that this is, this is the, the game that they're, they're involved in. Is, you know, they, it's their these... game back at them. And that's why they can't play it with you once you know the, the game. Once you know the rules of the, how it works, the rules of engagement, the game changes and, and they can't play because the, uh, the winning of the game depends on you not knowing how it's played. And that's what all we're doing is, is, is sharing this information of how the game is played. Do you want to play it or not? No, thank you very much. My rights are reserved. And along with it, I don't know what it is that you, that system implied was my, what I was giving away when I said yes to something or that that was my legal fiction. I don't know. I don't need to know that. It's the unknown. But whatever it is that they try to define it as, not having it. Because I haven't claimed it. I haven't, I, because I haven't sat there and said it's my human rights or it is my common law rights or it is my, you know, or Bowen saying, even in your definition, you haven't got I'm any. You, just, <laughs> you haven't got any definition because I haven't given you any. Like you, you, you know, talk about jurisdiction. I, if I'm, I'm the one that grants and signs my consent to any of this, to initiate or not and when you start to just simply comprehend that bit you see that it just there is a void ab initio and so just set it up send it all back to the point where it cannot be started from which is very simply the point where you start to define what is you just don't know you don't know what these feelings are that you might find that you've got for somebody you don't know there was you know, there was a there was a court case uh, just for any, anyone who may listen to this over time uh, that was very public at the time with bill clinton and he was asked you know is some he was asked is your name something or something like bill clinton and his answer was depends what your de definition of is is yeah yeah what is that's it <laughs> And in the court, you know, saying, who are you? You know, I am that I am. But I'm not that. And I'm not that. And I'm not that. And I'm not that. Or oh, whatever that is. And they're screaming because it's the truth. It is. The, if you had to define it, it would be quite a title, but we're not even defining it. If it was commerce, it would be UCC 96 and 9610. Get that up, yeah, mm -hmm. to them. Because they're the ones that use that code to steal yeah. or apply, to, to claim the right that you, it was given to them by you, by using that legal fiction. And, the, and you know, I've, this has been done before up until that point, you know, the securitization of these corporations, but it's the next step that, was, that we had to go around and revisit it. What part was missing out of this? It was the conclusion, the, the remedy, the redemption. And, and when you redeem yourself and your soul on behalf of others and you stop thinking about your own personal definition of freedom, for example, if you're prepared to go and 
put yourself uh, on the line in exchange for everybody else's rights, then, you know, it's the only thing that you're taking with you when you go is your soul. So it might as well be as shiny as you could possibly get it while you were in this place of resistance. Mm. So maybe that's what it is to come and shine your soul upon. Who knows, you know, we don't know. But what if it is? What if it's that you come around again and, and you inherit everything that you've created? Maybe you've not been told that. You know, there's all sorts of things that we've maybe not given any time or space in our minds to be able to think or imagine for ourselves. Um, well, I've given when... a lot of space and time in my soul to imagine uh, about a lot of what you just mentioned there. And one thing I've come to the conclusion of, which is open to debate all the time, because I recognise that without debate, there's, you know, you put yourself in a box rather than anyone else. Just you're, you're in your own box. So that the thing that you said there that just resonated very deeply is that you can't, you can't define, you cannot define who you are. You cannot define like what what this game is. And if you know yourself, then you know nothing. Pretty much as simple as it. But it's also the idea which is essentially I am free. From the moment I'm feeling, thinking, anything that only through interaction and giving away certain answers can I um, indoctrinate myself into a system that unless I play you know because I, I, it, 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 there's a, something you said in Stroud that's very true right that of course you know this is this is for people who want to be um r righteous in a way not 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 to the idea of you know telling others how to think or feel or do or it, what the system does but just not to fucking murder you know something similar and akin to what the organized religions all talk about whether it be the ten commandments or whatever similarly similarly they have in uh the quran or uh in hinduism or in any other religion so those things are sort of inbuilt i think we have a as, a, as humanity a, a, a very deeply embedded moral code and uh, it takes a lot of work for mad men and mad people uh, to indoctrinate the masses and let's just say from my perspective at this moment I still cherish humanity because my god they've had to work hard to get us to turn on each other and still here we are and still here we go like i think they always at every step of the way they fundamentally do not understand the human spirit and maybe it's not the human spirit but the spirit that is in a human form I, I think that's a really good point, actually, about the even though in spite of all of that, or because of all of that, uh, look at what we've all become. Uh, you know, uh, it's uh, it makes you look back on all of the things that you may be taking in the negative and and um, and view it with a different perspective, which is where we we're talking about changing that mindset from one that is vibrating to loss. Or oh, one that is uh, resonating to to everything being uh, a, a positive and potential of what you can potentially create with it. So the, yeah, and that's your choice. You can you've got the potential to create oh, anything, potential. haven't you? But and it's at any time, either negative or positive. Uh -huh. And you know uh, what our definition even of that is, because then everything yeah. becomes positive, doesn't it? And, and there was something that I said outside the how um, outside that place called Buckingham Palace a long time ago about um, even when you're wrong, you're right because it was right for you to be wrong right then. So which means you're always right, and so we can all stop, you know, biting about it and, and stop this in a conflict that we've got going on with ourselves um and just put a big circle around all of the trauma uh all of the victim state that we've that we come through in the woundology where we go back to the point in time where we suffered this loss and 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 
you you know um, even losing loved ones and things they, they, they keep, yeah or the idea or the idea of reincarnation coming back to learn lessons exactly. when we've learned them very fundamentally in one life and if we can't remember them in the next then what's the fucking point <laughs> yeah and and, so, and it's the loss you know even that in itself instead of looking at the gain and everything that you gained out of the interaction that you had with another individual instead we mourn the 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 loss um but we, because we haven't been given the foundation of everlasting universal source energy and love force frequency, we, and it is that which we're fearful of. And if we just yeah. peel back all of those layers and restore that trust in the one thing that we can all agree on is that you know when you're in love. Yeah. You feel yeah. it. And you you feel that energy. vibration. And, and, you know, you look at it and, the, and you, that feeling of deep appreciation that you get when if you look at a flower or, the, you know, the, the way that the magic all around us. And, and the sound you know, of wind, look, anything. Exactly. Look through the eyes of a child once more at this wonderful experience um, that it all is at any one moment in time. And, um, and live for it. Uh, that's that's uh, that's what I believe the whole purpose of this has been. You know, it was all saying that we read to me at Frontex, what's your point? And I was like, what's my restoration of rights? <laughs> well, I haven't got another point. And and so now we're, we've done that. And when I came through, to, to, suddenly there was no the borders, these all board, the borders, and, and all of this. I didn't know about in the background being decided upon in, inside this matrix to be given to us again uh, around this time of year and you know it's very significant that we keep getting these great fantastic receipts and to be able to share with people um uh, because it makes for another great 12 months then because people could just you don't have to invest all of this time and energy 1380 simply send one of these copies of these orders uh, out of these uh, other would-be potential wannabe debt collectors or claimants and and discharge it against that you know and we can do it lovingly we can do it lovingly we don't have yeah. to be assholes about it you know well but it's only yourself really because they 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 wouldn't be able to do this that, that still wouldn't be existing if you had up from these steps so We've been banging on about this for quite some time now, and it's only there um, because people become so complacent with the, uh, it's boiled the frog, that's what we were talking about before. So, you know, it's, as we're not on lockdown anymore. We should never been on lockdown anyway because you couldn't substantiate the claim, but you went and conceded to that. So the next bit that's come in is better, you know, okay, we're out, but we've got to wear a mask or whatever it was. It was the, it's the compromising of our souls yeah um you know turn the heat up a little bit and and then turn it down and then you can turn it up so even not more too many notices put in well in their in their game it's hope not too many notice because they turn the dial up very slowly incrementally like tiptoe totalitarianism as they like unfortunately it, or, some somebody you know, tipped the pot over and all the frogs are out yeah, <laughs> all over the kitchen, and, the, and, and those frogs are not going back into the pot. <laughs> no, <laughs> frogs want some answers. So, and the answer, the, you know, the answer is don't get in the fucking pot, frog. Isn't it? Yeah. You know what you do, it's all right. Very well saying, no, it's boil the frog. Well, the, uh, first of all, I've got to get the frog in the pot. Oh, you know, it was with what we're talking about here about the emperor's got no clothes and one of the videos that i did it's, it's even gone beyond that point it, there is no emperor so whether he's got clothes on or not you know that story is that was the story that was the the universe screaming at us these uh corrupted versions and definitions of all of these the story whose fucking story let's hear yours and let's see it in action so it's been uh, while all of that's been going on, obviously, um, there's loads of new connections been, that have been made. Um, I said about what happened with 1160 and 222 over there. They're doing absolutely to be able to know these people or have a connection with these beings uh, is absolute honor. All of these people that you're going to meet, and you know, once you come and in, in, uh, get involved, do these steps and 
Um, you met a few of them when you came down to the meeting that we had down the Stroud. Um, but you know, there's there's uh, loads of really awesome people, beings that have Everywhere. come together. Yeah, who are who are open to change, and that's all you've got to be. Just change, the, just change the way you define yourself. Start with that, um, and that's that will be the, the really the key to keep it simple for for people, um, not wanting to brush over uh, anything at all because we don't like gloss. But you know, uh, leave any any of this stuff out. The the people who've been doing amazing stuff um, without any of this. Uh, this is just a structure. We're not saying <clears throat> you know anything that anybody does that get that keeps them out of the system, or whatever you want to call it. But, you know, we we are not in the cult of not wanting to be together because of different definitions. You know, we're talking about the same thing whatever we call it um, and so we want to just connect on that and get out, rid of all of these other preconceptions about what this is and come and find out for yourself so that was really um, the, the purpose of this and we're taking this into the, the new year making with all of these new connections that we've made um, and um, I just want to say for the record that 22399 fills up my senses and uh, that's really all I've got to say about 2022, other than thank you to everybody who played a part in all of this and, and the wonderful opportunities it's given us to be able to see uh, one another as we truly are um, and, and the trust that we've been able to build based because of all of these things. Uh, it's just phenomenal. So uh, thank you. I can only imagine it's, it's going to continue, you know, completely with more and more people exponentially into 2023 because most people, <laughs> I mean, it only gets more absurd from this point out with the way the system wants to play. So it's, it, well, it's, it's Muppet Show tonight, you know, when you go dressed up as Minister of Van and, uh, you know, and they're all like, oh, they don't know how to respond to you because it's like, well, we know that you've just got that outfit off the internet, you know? Mm. But, but okay, well, so what's different from the one that the, the, the one that you do go kiss his hand got? You know, it's that in your face. Mm. The emperor, anybody can be the emperor. They've just got to get a load of people to line up behind them and follow them around and bow and scrape to them. You know, the Zionists have shown us this throughout history. And how to do a psyops. Do you want psyops on yourself, first of all? Psychological operation on yourself. Declare yourself psychotic and, and give yourself a, a remedy. Prescribe yourself a remedy, you know, of just not doing that thing that you keep doing, which is psychotic, which is expecting anything to change when I keep doing the same thing. Just that one thing. And what is the thing that we keep <laughs> doing? Using that name. That's it. So there's mm. nothing really clever about it. Um, and it is really simple, but people want to make it complex and they want to make it complicated. And they want to say, oh, you know, I'd love to join to do these things, but I've got an excuse. Or worse, that somebody comes along and they say, mm, yeah, I'm, I'm going to vet you. I, I'm going to go through all of this uh, and then I'm going to make an assessment and then decide whether if or it works for me. Uh, then I might tell my friends, it, even, you know, that's not what this is about. If you can't make it work for you, then you've got no right whatsoever to presume that no you chance. know, <laughs> you, no, no, you, that you've got the right to presume. No, I'm not speaking to you specifically, but to anybody who's listening to this, that we've got lots of people come to us and they're like, you know, I've got a group and I've got a telegram group and I've got all, you know, I've got these connections. Okay. Uh, and so I want to do it first and I'm going to learn all of this and then I'm going to tell, see how it works for me. But and they don't do it or they don't get it. And if they have got access to all of these other people, people of these groups, you are being usurped. That's what I want to say to you. Don't contact somebody and say, what do you think about this? Get on the bloody phone and send an email and find out for yourselves. Because you can't sit there in your non-self-determined state and say, 
Tell me what you think about this, will ya? Can you? Mm. So, they were doing things like this with yourself, and documenting these kind of things uh, firsthand. That's, that's the message that we want to get across to people. This is why, you know, the, the warranty cards are like to give out plastic cornflake packets because anybody can do it. We're not saying this is the only way you have to do it like this, or, or we don't want to know you. We want to know you. We want to know what else it is. What did you do with this? Where did you take it? Loads of things have branched off from this in all sorts of really, uh, you know, lovely community groups and connections. And, um, you know, we've got, I am going to, uh, make a special announcement and about the fact that because of universal law as the coming together of two ministers have created a mini me <laughs> uh, which is due to arrive in the new year uh, so uh, that really is the biggest gift we've got to share with you that the wonderful emails that have come from these two really amazing people that did some amazing things um, and uh, uh, got together. Um, uh, and they've put it all down to obviously universal law and um, becoming me. Minister well, look, if I can interject there, that's that's one other thing I'd love to leave on a note on here is that the more people that are uh, even, you know, privy to this information, that are hearing it and play it with one another in their in their friendship groups, their tribes, whatever you want to call a group of people. But if they're all coming to similar conclusions before they've heard this, yeah, it's not all about doing it the same way and do it your way, but absolutely do something that reclaims who you are to the best of your ability <clears throat> and share that, share, uh, share, share your steps. I'm going to interject on that. It's not about reclaiming anything. It is about stopping claiming anything. It's about just that you're letting all of that go, uh, all of those uh, preconceptions, like you just said, I agree completely with that, uh, uh, and just stepping off. But you've got uh, all got an added benefit because you're all inheriting seven years of people's lives, people's energy, people's rights, that they have offered up for you to come and stand upon. And there is an exchange for that. There, you know, it, it, there has to be a, com a completely free giving without any calculation or fear of loss or hesitation or reminder or because it's uh, the worst exchange has been when you as a return on your investment is that you have to chase after the people who've benefited from this um who cannot keep their word because that's what i was going to say earlier on but you interjected about the, it is your bond your oath your your word counts for everything it creates it creates matter and so it does matter it doesn't matter what you've written down um, it matters really what you said. You embody. You, you be what you say you are. That's all. Yeah. And don't be scared of it. And if you can't be it, then you know, don't say, don't, don't pretend. So just, just stop pretending. And because whatever you are, any of us are more than enough. For the most part, most people just need that little bit of a kick up the ass to, to know that they are worthy, to know that they are enough, that they are powerful inside of their own being. And then they can, you know, they do some amazing things in their, with their energy, with their time, that help one another. And I don't know, you know, I've met a few very selfish people, but not many who would actually, you know, spend most of their time not doing anything for anyone else i think most human beings really do still hold that value that currency inside of their souls which is i feel better when i do something are, uh, that helps other people the, the, i think there are more kind people around 
than unkind and that they're yeah. given the opportunity to do the right thing they will do it yeah and the only reason they don't do it and when they do something bad or, or what we can define as bad is uh, because they're desperate because they're in a system that isn't really fully supporting them but here we are instead with the solution so let's not finish on the negative um <laughs> let's, yeah let's let's uh, big this back up to where it was which is that it is uh, a wonderful opportunity now for all of these people to be able to use what it is that has come before now to stand on now and use in the future and have that as the equivalent of clausulus rebus sic stantibus there is something that i now know that affects everything that came before now now and in the future and so let it be the universal law as something that you can leash into your community uh freely uh, because it's uh, everything that was stopping is is, is there's a solution for that there's mm. no excuses mm. anymore for anybody not to do any of these things which is to stop persecuting yourself for profit and whenever you feel the time is right that's when you can do it that's it do it so so uh, thank you very much everybody is there anything anybody else would like to say before we round it up Nope. Just from me, zero one zero, a massive thank you because I know it's come at some personal cost to you over the over the times, um, but not really, you know. And, and this is the, the the truth that you said in Stroud is I'd rather be, you know, in one of their boxes knowing I've got my soul than without it. Exactly. It, it, it is. It's it, what value your soul's priceless. Mm. Keep it. Keep it that way. That's, that's all. Thanks for everything and happy new Gregorian year to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have a Chinese one soon. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of love to you all. Um, and uh, I can't wait to see you all um, in the, whatever it is we're going to call it tomorrow. <laughs> and in the now yeah. that comes after the now the in about 24 hours from now of the now that it's we the are good, running. it's the good now <laughs> new now <laughs> yeah in in greek it's torah Torah. torah yeah torah yeah so we'll have a bit of that and then we don't mean um, torah and, with and an h by the way before uh, before any of them uh, you know the culty <laughs> fan club do it's torah it means now also to also to the men here that interjected along the way thank you because you know I, I was needing some uh some support in in the way that you offered it in this call so thank you i don't know your names but that's not important we haven't got any it's emma venn the name is yeah. emma venn <laughs> you got my name <laughs> no we've got a legal fiction that you keep using that's it, got the that's right it. Abuse for it so we're trying to preserve your rights from uh being trespassed upon by yourself and you've the great big feet very very <laughs> really? soon you'll have my very soon you'll have my number um oh. Oh, we've already whatever, whatever assigned one for we've assigned one, but we're just waiting for you to accept it. Yeah. Yeah. As All I right. said, I've got only I'm gonna be in touch with you over the next few days to get the Look ball rolling on that. I'm, I'm I'm ready. Great. Okay. Lovely. Well love to every one of you.